Norway, Wikipedia claims, is a constitutional monarchy headed by King Harald V with a population of roughly 5.3 million existing in its current form since 1905 with its capital at Oslo. This all seems pretty cut and dried, but just under a century ago a well-supported petition and a high-profile Nobel Prize winner would disagree. Just to get it out of the way, these people didn't disagree with the existence of a not-yet-born future monarch or the country's future population. They didn't have crystal balls. What they did have was a bee in their bonnet over the name of their capital, Oslo. Furious they were, because Oslo wasn't Oslo. Meet Akershus Castle. Built in the 1290s, it was constructed to protect Oslo, which had existed since the 970s and duly became Norway's capital a few years after Akershus's construction in 1299. Unfortunately, Oslo burned down in 1624, and so Norway's old capital currently looks like this. Hang on, hang on, didn't I just say that Oslo is still the capital of Norway? Surely Norway's capital isn't just a bunch of ruins? No, indeed it isn't. For complicated political reasons, mainly to do with this city in Sweden, Norway in 1624 was de facto governed from Copenhagen, not the newly burnt Oslo. Governed by, at this time, King Christian IV. Christian figured it would be a good idea to rebuild Norway's capital and he did so, but rather than rebuilding it where it was, he located his new city next to the still intact Akershus Castle. Being the not at all vain Christian IV of Denmark-Norway, who may have already founded the towns and cities of Christianople, Christianstad and Christianshaven, and would go on to found Christiansand as well, is it surprising that he named Oslo's replacement Christiania? Probably not. Christiania became quite a successful city, growing over time to encompass the entire north coast of the Oslo Fjord. Sorry, I mean the Christiania Fjord. By the time Christiania was renamed Oslo for the original settlement to the equal chagrin of Oslo and Zen Nobel Prize winners, the city had long since absorbed Old Oslo, now called Gamlebyen, or Old Town. Of course, Oslo isn't unique in this. London isn't strictly speaking London either, as the current city grew out of the city of Westminster, which used to be a separate city west of London proper. It too would ultimately take the name of the older city it had absorbed. In London this all happened quite early however, whereas Christiania only became Oslo in the 1920s. It's also special because Norway split ties with Denmark in 1814, indirectly thanks to a guy who may have been mentioned on this channel before, and as such, Norway's capital was now named after a foreign monarch. And yet, people protested against the name change in their thousands. Living, as we do, in a world where different countries are too often portrayed as inherent competitors in a fight to the death, Christiania and the Norwegians who stood up to protect its foreign name are a good reminder of how not everybody views the world like that. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe to Robert Explains, and if you hated it, feel equally free to spew vitriol at your leisure. Until next time.